Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hey Pisces, I'm super excited to do your reading. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a beautiful deep breath in, raising our vibration. You ready? Deep, deep, deep. Come on now. Challenge your human. Kissing your higher self. Inhaling deeply. Exhale. All right. Pisces, this month, you heard the introduction. Honey, your value. If you're not making enough money, this is the time for you to be true to yourself and receive from other people, meaning your employer, your clients, your customers, your business partners are going to be really be upfront and honest and they're really going to be, you know, in tuned with you and where your vision is, where you're going, where you're taking your team. This is an amazing opportunistic month for you. And at the end of the month, I truly feel that you're like, whether whether your immediate surroundings are working for your money or not. And I feel like if they're not working for you, like if you're not in the neighborhood or the territory needs to expand or you need to get up and move somewhere, relocate, uh, you're going to do that. And I really feel truly strong about that. You open up this month with your value. And I feel like you just come to some reality checks with your financial investments, with where you stand in being codependent on anyone else giving you an allowance. 
um, social services, government assistance, having to have a, a loan because of the pandemic. All of these things just really are, you know, in your in the forefront of who you are. But I feel like mid month, that new moon is all in people giving to you. Receive the benefits, the support that you truly deserve. Okay, this is not about a handout. This is a leg up. So that you can be free and clear from any of that destruction down here. Okay? This is truly a blessed month for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Divine Source, thank you so much. Oh, yes. Honey. Pisces. Oh, goodness, honey. Pisces. Pisces. Let me tell you what your and You saw what your ancestors did for you. Okay? They are telling you to let go, let God move out the way so that they can come on in. And make sure that their baby is blessed. Because you ain't nothing short of their blessed baby. Okay? You are their legacy. Let me show you something. You see the leaves falling off? It is fall time. This is October. And these this is your this is the season that you're in. Do you know what that means? This is your season. This is your season. So you bask in the awareness of your prosperity. Because it's time to clean house and you're going to start with that emotional suitcase that you've been carrying around thinking that you have to jump through hoops to get the type of money that you deserve and you do not. You just need to be connected with the right people and the right coaches, the right mentor, the right support network, the right tribe. Because your ancestors are telling you, get on up out the way and let us come on through because you are our baby and we're helping you create the type of wealth that you deserve based on your value that you know yourself to, to have, not on someone else's. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Trying to accept less. Spirit is telling you, no, not anymore. Oh, goodness. I knew I was looking forward to your reading. Look at this. I love Spirit, honey. And I love what Spirit is doing for you this, this month. Can I just tell you? Honey, remember, what did Spirit just say? We're going to read this together. Okay? What does Spirit say about that cleansing? You are being purified. Your body, your mind, and your soul are urging you to take time out for some much-needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, dear Pisces, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. Right? Let go. Don't be attached to any outcome. Because that's all going to be ego. Spirit's telling you, oh, no, 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 this is your season. To be reborn. This is your season for prosperity. All right. To be purified. The raiment of your blessings rising. And they're coming in. Your dreams are coming true. And your ancestors are making that happen just for you. Just for you. So you can do what you love. You can use your spiritual gifts. I feel like we all should do that. And I feel like that is how we really tap into our soul purpose and our life mission is through our spiritual gifts. However, there's something different, which is our passion. We can be passionate about something and it has absolutely nothing to do with our spiritual gifts. I was listening to uh, Steve Harvey one day and I literally stopped my car and rewound that so that I could meditate and reflect on what he just said. And that was just new for me. And I was so blessed by it. And so I pray that you're blessed by it. Remember that you can have the blessings of what you're passionate about as well. And so as you cleanse and purify from any limited thinking, you let go and you let God show you what your next step is. Remember to acknowledge your ancestors along the way. 
Thank you so much. And you know who was talking to me before your reading was our ancestors. And so I was super excited to get to your reading. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just feel like they have shown you so much. And I look at this. And I just pray that you pay attention. And if you ever need any help, click the links down below because I am here for you. I would love to work with you. Mm, mm, mm. I would love to do a reading for you. You just let me know. I'm here. You are so psychic. Be clear and be courageous and confident in your spiritual gifts. You are so deserving. Be clear and confident that you are supported in your life mission. You're blessed. You have many options. Feel empowered in knowing that you get to choose. People don't get to choose for you, dear Pisces. Thank you so much. When you come into October, the energy in the stars for you is a culmination. It's a completion. Really from the first week, for the first week, I'd say through the seventh, there's a completion in your self-worth, your self-value, your dignity, your self-respect. The money you earn for the service that you provide. The obligation, and we're talking about the man hours, okay, the woman hours that you take, take into consideration, take into travel time, the work that you take home. When you're working from home, do you really stop working when you shut off your laptop or your computer? Or are you still looking at email? Are you still thinking about the job? All of that is work being put in to build someone else's dreams. What are you doing to build your own dreams? What are you passionate about? What are you looking at? If you can see it, you can achieve it. But if you're looking at only what the employer wants you to look at, then you're going to only achieve what they want you to. If you can see it, you can achieve it. But how long have you been putting off manifesting what you always were passionate about from a child? You got the same passion, but have you wasted so many years that now you're an adult and you're still working for someone else, afraid to go and work for yourself? What is it? Or are you afraid to really have that freedom of, of expression, that creativity to the passion. Are you afraid to put that into your workspace? I was told that I couldn't bring God into the workspace and I knew that was it for me. All right, I gotta leave corporate, that's it. If I can't talk about God, if I can't send inspirational emails to my division, because they're working for this company that I work for, but they are here helping me, they're helping our team, I can't do it. If I can't inspire and encourage them through spirituality, I don't want no parts of it. So I feel like that's where spirit is sending you. And so at the begin, at the middle of the month, be able to accept that opportunity. Okay, well, we can do this for you. Is it good enough based on what you show, what Spirit showed you in the beginning of October? Is it in match and alignment with the value that you hold for yourself, your standards? Are they overstepping their boundaries, but because you're, you don't have strict boundaries for yourself, are, or stricter boundaries for yourself, are they able to do that over and over and over again? Oh, well, Delia will do it. Oh, well, go just check, check with Portia. She's still here. She has no kids. So she'll, she'll do it. Let her do it on the weekend. Let her work on the weekend. Well, let Sam do it. He lives alone. Can you come in? Because 
Kim didn't make it on into her. She didn't do the territory right, or she didn't. Uh, they don't want her working on their account. Can you uh, work on it because you do so good? And then you're able to say mid month, not unless you're giving me a pay raise. It's got to be documented. You have to say it like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But I really do feel, honey, your enlightenment is on point this month. I really feel that you're going to face that fear of carding, not carding around all of that burden in your career and taking care of everybody else and being the one who pays for everything. Being the one who's got all the money, who's got it together, and being taken advantage of. And really seeing that you've got options. You don't have to be in a dead-end job. You don't have to go back to this old industry that really never made you happy. You've got options. And I feel like you're being burned from the mistakes you've made, but make no mistake about it. It's to help bless you and yours. Okay, so allow that, that process because that's very important. Um, and remember that you have a connection with source. And we're not talking about using the tools that I use. We're not talking about anything like that. I'm a teacher. That's my undergrad. I believe in uh, Howard Gardner's nine... Uh, uh, what is it? Now Now I'm going to not be able to say it. But the the learning styles, and I believe that educators have to have the uh, teaching tools because everyone learns differently. But Pisces, make no mistake about it, you're hearing from spirit directly like I do. And you don't have to look outside all the time. You can receive confirmation you know, I'm in business partly. You know, part of my, one of my businesses is to do readings, to be a coach and to provide that confirmation and to help you work through it. But make no mistake about it, that when spirit is speaking to you directly, you will know it. This is Topaz. If I seek peace, I must embrace my fears. The legend here is Topaz is a renowned spiritual teacher. People travel to hear his wisdom. He is journeying up a mountain to seek private counsel with the great servant. When a young boy stops him, the boy asks, If enlightenment is to be found in my own mind, how do I get there? The moment before he disappears into the mist, Topaz replies, Through your fears. Your inspiration, dear Pisces, is at this time, your journey is far more important than your destination. Remember, if you face your fear, you will grow stronger. Relief awaits. Your personal inquiry to meditate on is, my thoughts always drive my choices. How can I choose my thoughts to heal myself and my environment? And you want to include your relationship to money. Key ideas to meditate on. Paths to enlightenment. The true path to enlightenment. The reluctant sage. Taking time alone to connect. Trusting your intuition. Needing solitude. Time for reflection. Key words to meditate on and to build your affirmations on are support. Courage, confidence. Oh, Pisces, I'm so excited for you. I'm excited because I see I see spirit pulling you to a place of I gotta do it now. And your ancestors are all over you. And I love it. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit 
as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. When that new skin appears, it's going to feel so fresh and new. It's going to be weird and it's going to feel really vulnerable. It's okay for you to be vulnerable. And those that you can't be vulnerable around, those are the people you're going to be cleansing yourself from. And your ancestors are going to be speaking to you through the trees, through the bushes, through the nature that you're around. So make sure that you are around nature and that you're bringing it indoors just with a plant. You know, being able to just have a plant and recognize that beauty of that life energy. But grow from your past experiences and let go of them because you are part of their DNA they are part of yours and they want you to be blessed because that blessing is yours and spirit doesn't want you to bring it to let anyone else have it okay it's, it's yours belongs to you thank you so much divine source thank you thank you thank you thank you so much you know, the other beautiful part of mid-month when you have this beautiful new moon energy is uh, make sure that you are providing all of the expenses in your taxes for your business ownership. Make sure that your CPA knows um, all the tax codes for you to get all of your deductions and make sure that you are continuing to keep impeccable uh, documents and all of that because this is all that energy as well and as you're planting those seeds now for it for your future harvest when um, your taxes are processed and all of that next year um, it'll make sense to you another part of it is creating that wealth of any overtime that you have been um, overlooked for any type of um, bonuses make sure you check your your uh, paycheck and make sure that your money is all there I'm here and reevaluate your deductions and your expenses and do some research on your own re-strategy re-strategize excuse me and realign with your investments business opportunities focus on them take control of your money you take control of your life honor your spiritual guidance I talk to you in the silence let me lead you by the ocean through the soul through your soul's desire with an S through your soul's desires. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I walk with you. You walk with me. We harmonize together. I'll meet you by the sea. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, spirit is talking to you. Thank you so much. Take a deep breath in, dear Pisces. Thank you so much. And yes, you can do it. And, you know, challenge yourself for sure. But commit to your future goals. And don't give up. It's going to take that struggle, that sacrifice of an immediate pleasure and avoiding that need, that desire. It's not a need, it's just a desire out of fear to uh, really give up too soon before the blessing comes in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for our dear Pisces. Thank you so much. So... There's a fear here for sure. That's for sure. Um, I 
Pisces, Spirit is telling you to stay away from the negativity. Who is bleeding you dry? I feel like they're just draining you, your mind space. And I don't feel like they're doing it. Uh, I, I don't feel like they're doing it like an attack on purpose. I feel like you just don't have the, the, the boundaries that you need to have set up to stop people from stealing your peace. I feel like you're including yourself in other people's misery. And I feel like you're letting yourself down because of that. I feel like, you know, and this doesn't apply to everybody, of course. But I really do feel like the past is coming up so quickly and strongly for some of you that the money is there. The opportunity is there. But the fear of your own success, the fear of confrontation, of the fear of having to stand up for yourself is so big that it's, it's, uh, it's stopping you from really showing how smart you really are. And it's blocking your blessing. So we need to turn this around this month. You need to show people who you are. You're intelligent. You know what you're talking about. You do your research. You do your homework. You're amazing at your job. You're wonderful in your career. You know your stuff with your, with your business. And you deserve that money. You deserve the prosperity, the stability, the security. But what you've done in the past is accept the job at the pay that they told you you could make. And you settled for it. But right now you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to go for that anymore. And that's great. Let me ring the bell for you. That's wonderful. Because yes, be loyal to you. But stay the course. Don't you dare give up. Make that decision. Drop one of those behaviors. Drop the ball on your past but stay focused on your future because you are going to have to stand your ground you're gonna have to stand your ground but I'm gonna show you with the spirit of the turkey how you're gonna do that and how you're gonna come out on top yes you do have to stand your ground stay focused on where you're going focus on your future focus on what you're manifesting and know that um, even though you're you're hoping and praying that everything can slow down, don't pray for that. Don't pray for that. What you want to pray for is for spirit to show you, while spirit strengthens you, which way to go. Show, pray for direction and clarity and strength and courage because you need it. You have got to turn this around and you've got to be okay in that leadership role and delegate. And heck yeah, it ain't going to feel nice for you, Pisces. It's not going to feel good. But honey, you're in a leadership position and you're watching other people be blessed by promotions. You're watching, other, you're watching your own manager be in that role that you deserve to be in. You know that you know you know more about your job than they do. Okay? You know that's the truth. Go ahead and comment down below because I know that that spoke to somebody. You know way more about their own job than they do. And that's why they keep coming to you for the answers. But let me show you. This is what Spirit is saying to you with the turkey spirit, okay? And instead of getting upset and getting emotional, you're gonna show grace and gratitude, okay? First to yourself and then to others because with 61, you're balancing it out in this new direction that spirit is sending you in. And it is divinely blessed. It is divinely guided and timed. See, the turkey spirit's message for you, dear Pisces, is that you always have the potential for manifesting a rich, 
reality. For the turkey represents generosity and a celebration of abundance through giving to others. Give freely without expectation and you shall receive. For the manifestation of abundance is happening for you right now. Align with it by sharing your good fortune with others. Now, this isn't just money. This is of mind, body, spirit. This is of laughter, good cheer. But this is also of your truth. Share that truth that you don't want to share with others. You don't want confrontation, but you feel defensive. Show them and tell them how you really feel. This doesn't feel right. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not sure. Let me get back to you. No, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Be okay saying no. And be okay giving without attachment to the outcome because it's truly what you feel in your soul. Whether it's money, loving guidance, again, the gift of listening, kindness, in any form, dear Pisces, immerse yourself in the flow of generous abundance. That way, the experiences that you have, dear love, is the blessing of plenty. Not the blessing or not the energy of lack. It's abundance. When you give with gratitude and grace, and this is from your own wellspring of love and compassion. This is saying, you know, Spirit, I know that you're giving me all I need. Moment to moment. Turkey Spirit is here to tell you, dear Pisces, that everything evens out when you are aligned with the law of abundance as Divine Source wants you to truly be. Abundance is yours. Well, honey, as you embody the spirit of abundance and prosperity, gratitude and grace, I just know that you are going to be so blessed as you move forward. I am so proud of you. Spirit is so proud of you. Your ancestors are so proud of you. And honey, this is your affirmation that Spirit wants you to put in your journal, okay? I have the attitude of gratitude for the many relationships in my life, including the one I have with myself. Dear Pisces, I look forward to working with you and reading for you. So click the links down below, and I look forward to talking to you very soon. Mwah. Many blessings.